sirens going on in the dream, and I'm looking at everybody, and it was like everybody was walking on the highway. Was, when I stop and think about it now, because it was like designed like a cement a spiral of all things. You know, when you go over to the spaghetti areas and the highway, you know, 407 and so sure, on, yeah, you yeah. know, it looked much like a highway. And here they were bombing America and the air raid sirens were going on. I can't tell you what day that was happening, but now that it's all starting to make sense with the stuff you're saying, I want the audience to know all this because I think it's very imminent. My dreams and my visions seldom fail me and always come to pass with pinpoint accuracy. It's scary and it's time that we all start praying in the spirit and asking the Lord Jesus Christ to start moving in and rebuking these evil forces and letting them re receive the rewards of their doings and they have done much evil and let them be destroyed in their flesh and in their intents and that we may save the spirit alive, you know. They will have their one world government but it will not stand any more than it did with Hitler or Napoleon or the Habsburgs or any of these other uh, governments under Roman dictate. And thank you for the time, Space. God bless you, and people of Toronto, get on your hands and knees. This isn't fooling around time. If you love the Lord Jesus Christ, then humble yourselves if you're his people. It's time now. If you want your land to be healed and you want to be protected and you want this to not to touch your house, ask God for the seal of, your, uh, of the Holy Spirit seal upon your forehead. It's Spaceman AM640 Toronto. Let me take an extreme call. Jack. You're on with the Spaceman. This is AM640 Toronto Radio. Go ahead, please. Yeah, hi, Space. You kept me holding long enough. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I should have uh, maybe put you on while Kate was doing the news. Well, come to oh, think okay. of... Oh, uh, okay. Next time I'll do that. I'll just say, hey, Kate, sorry, Jack's got to get on. No, you don't have to do I, that. I don't, want, I don't want to have Jack's battery run down. No, no, my battery... Jack, get to the point. You're killing time here. I'm plugged in, but I want to know why you at mercy of all these commercials now. That wasn't my question. Jack. Hey, Jack, get to the point. Please, move on. The show's only three or four hours. Herschel, you got to keep all your callers on hold. Space? Jack, one more time. Get to the point. Like I said, why, why are you at the mercy of all these commercials? Why don't you answer your callers right Jack, away? You're, you're on. I'm on. But I'm very patient with you, but I'm running out of time. I don't have time for you, then. Thank you. <laughs> That's how it works, my friend. Get... <laughs> wow. Wow. The instruction that I had... See, I have a screen. The words that were printed by Jack's name were... Doubts you. So immediately, I'm going to check Jack out. Because it's people like Jack i got to get to. Spaceman, go ahead, Alex. You're on with the Spaceman yeah, on 640 Toronto Radio. I'll admit that I've been in and out of the car, so I've been sporadic through this, but apparently, if I'm understanding this correctly, there's some sort of corollary between our involvement in Afghanistan and our chance of being targeted here in Canada. Is that pretty much the gist of what you were saying? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay, may I ask what the real difference is? Uh, for the last four years, we've had ground troops there. Now, albeit ah, the only troops we've lost... Peacekeeping, sir. Peacekeeping only. Peacekeeping only, sir. Uh, if you've been no, listening very closely to our head soldier, Rick Hillier, he is now doing search and destroy missions, and on Friday, they handed it over. The Americans handed over to the Canadians their patrolling. Spaceman, our sniper teams from JTF-2 have been there for four years. The Americans actually wanted to give them medals, which Parliament would not allow them to do because they didn't want them wearing foreign medals. So we've had active combat troops there for four years now. I'm wondering where's the big difference going to come from. Well, okay. You say we can go into the backyard of the Taliban and we can do search and destroy and they're not going to retaliate. You know what? Is that I what you're saying? Is that what you're telling me, Alex? I'm... Is that what you're saying? Well, are you going to stop yelling and let me answer? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, since Canada is... I, uh, but well, you're not answering my question. Yes, is that I what you're saying? Your you're question. saying that they're not going to come and get us. I'd say there's no, there's no guarantee they will. Oh, there is no guarantee that they will, won't either, is there? There isn't. However, Canada... Oh, okay, well, you ran through oh. that awful quickly. Well, Let's just hold on a moment. Do, Let's no, just no, freeze on that so that you can answer this question. Um, well, yeah, okay, let me try. All right, and the question is, mm. it happened in America... It can't happen here? I didn't say it can't happen here. I said it would be unlikely. Don't put words in my mouth, spaceman. 
Canada harbors a lot more terrorists and allows them to get a lot away with a lot more financially than America does. People tend not to defecate in their own backyards. Wow. You're brainwashed, sir. Well, you know what? That's your opinion, and okay. you're entitled to it. Mine All right. Totally Thank you. Different. Thank you so Have much. Have a nice night, Spaceman. Wow. Oh. man. Hi, John. Go ahead. Oh, hello. You're on AM 640 Toronto Radio. Yes, the world is known as black and white space. It's, it's, it's a shame that sometimes people just can't come out of their reality. You know, they might read history and go, oh, maybe there was something to that JFK, but, of course, something like that couldn't go on now. Or they might uh, think that uh, the U.S. You no, know, the black magic spell ha- has a very, very powerful lure. Well, as you And a mentioned. lot of people, a lot of people... When they hear authorities say, they take it for the gospel truth. That's true. If it's on ABC News and or it's on uh, CBC. That's right. They don't have a mind of their own. They are spoon-fed. Everything that happens in the world in a 20-minute newscast called A Bridge to Man. That's so Peter true. Man's Bridge. And to give you just two brief examples, when, oh, let's just give one. The, uh, the thing that got America most involved in, the, uh, in Vietnam which escalated, got the Senate on board, and the public was a thing called the Gulf of Tonkin incident, where apparently Vietnamese planes attacked American ships, and that's what got the event going. It never was, never occurred. Oh, you've mentioned that before. It was Let's a Senate, sure, it. certainly. And uh, Pearl Harbor was the mother of all conspiracies oh, until 9-11. Yes, having a, uh, an entire uh, Navy just having to float around there without any detection. But, of course... Let's just get to the House of Saud and the House of Bush and the Kuwaiti Bank of America and BCCI. If you put in BCCI in any computer, you'll have plenty of reading to do. How about security at the World Trade Center? Wasn't it interesting on that day? That. Yeah, did, did you know Marvin Bush, the uh, son I was just talking about, that's mm. very rarely mentioned, uh, was in on the uh, security of that uh, place? On the board of directors of two security Correct. companies. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, also, I want to go into that a little more in depth in uh, the next few minutes uh, on AM 640 Toronto Radio. Keep uh, keep going, John. Security at that uh, at the World Trade Center a few days before uh, 9-11 occurred, power was cut out, um, according to a witness named Scott Forbes, where they had all sorts of quote-unquote engineers coming in, security locks were, uh, you know, left unopened, security cameras were not on. Uh, another guard in the other... Uh, on, the, on the weekend on the weekend of 9-8 yep. and 9-9, mm-hmm. there was a power-down condition That's right. in the World Trade Center, Tower 2, the South Tower. This power condition meant there was no electrical supply for approximately 36 hours Wonderful. from floor 50 up. And of course that... Uh, and of course, hey, without power... There's no security cameras, nope. no security locks on doors, and many, many engineers coming in and out of the tower. Yes, and ask uh, some of those witnesses that witnessed explosions, including some of the janitors who were in the basement, a guy named Carl They'll Rodriguez. tell you they were popping all the way down. He was burned severely. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody heard his testimony at 9-11. It wasn't even right. considered. Right. And, of course, what's really interesting about Mr. Muhammad Atta and 15 of those 19 hijackers, some of them who are still alive, so they, some of them spent time in military schools. Uh, the, the Air Force and, and the military say, oh, it's just a coincidence. They had similar names to people that were there. But they won't release any information about the people that have the same names as the hijackers. And Mr. Mohammed Atta and some of those hijackers spent a lot of time in places in Florida around a couple of air schools. One of them is really interesting called Huffman Aviation, where Mr. Mohammed Atta spent time. And according to his stripper girlfriend, who's still alive, and is willing to give testimony. She's been interviewed by uh, several journalists. He wasn't the pious Muslim we've all led to believe. In fact, he had dubious connections, perhaps, to the drug trade. And the guy who ran the Huffman Aviation School, the guy who trained him, one was called Rudy Deckers. He had CIA connections. That's confirmed. The owner of the school, uh, j- just after 9-11, one of his planes was caught flying from uh, Venezuela, smuggling some heroin into uh, you know the USA. So here's Mohammed Atta gotten all this clearance. I wonder what his connections are. Perhaps uh, he knows something about opium and uh, that comes through uh, Afghanistan and through Turkey. He's got some connections in Hamburg. That would be interesting to know why this guy had such a, you know, a secret guarded background, so to speak. Um, hey, John, the CIA director, the former CIA director, John Deutsch, sits on the board of Citigroup. 
Oh, Citigroup. Well, Gives you kind of an idea of what's going Air on there. Air Caribbean. Yeah. The Air let, Caribbean. Yeah, let me just uh, let me just move on here to uh, Tom. Go ahead, Tom. You're on AM 640 Toronto Radio. Go right Space, ahead, how are you tonight? How are you tonight, Space? I'm fine. Good. Yeah. Well, I, I have a comment, and I want to predicate this because I love your show, and I think you've got a lot of great theories. But you know what? I think that we should be over in Afghanistan. I think we should take on the Taliban in the backyard. And I'm not scared of terrorist attacks happening over here. I think it's going to happen sooner or later anyway. But I think hey, the hardened should... Russian troops couldn't do anything about that. But that true. CIA set up Taliban. They couldn't That's do true. anything about it, and over a million guys died. And you say a ragtag air armed forces like we've got can do something about it. Hey, and you know what else, Tom? Two thirds of Amer uh, two thirds of Canada uh, disagrees with you. Two thirds of us disagree with you. I understand that, but you know what? And, and and so, what in blazes do you think? is the reason we should be over there for? Well, I think we should be over there trying. We trying to do what? Trying to defeat the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. Yeah, but you see, they're not an enemy. They are the CIA. They they're goading be. the world into a war. Okay, I, I, as I said... You don't I, get that, do you? Of, you don't understand that. Most of your theories I agree with. Most of your theories I agree with. I don't believe that the CIA is running the Taliban. Well, who do you think set them up? Who do you think set up Saddam Hussein? Who do you think set up uh, Ahmadinejad in... Uh, in Iran, who do you think set up Khomeini? Yeah, but but they ran away. They they got they got away from them after that. I mean, no, I, I they didn't. I, I, nobody. I they there up. is nobody running a country anywhere that isn't allowed to by this cabal. They are that powerful. We're talking about the IMF here. We're talking about all the world's banks that are all in cahoots together. They are the ones that have the purse strings, man. And they are the ones that are calling the shots in every single country of the world. Haven't you noticed that every single country that produces oil right now has problems in it with an insurgency? Why do you think that is, sir? Why do you think that is? They're going after the oil. No, it's because they've caused trouble at the oil to drive the price of oil up. And so that you can make it so expensive, and then pretty soon what we've got is inflation. Then pretty soon what we've got is countries that are indebted to the banks. Then pretty soon you've got banks that own countries. Then pretty soon you've got banks that own the world. And now we're to that point where they are about ready to grab it all and form a one-world government and get rid of the borders and get rid of all of the governments around the world. It's called the United Nations is the precursor to the one world government. Space, one question for you. Shoot. There was a, there was a, I think he was a, a Navy SEAL who was uh, captured and put in our Metro East Detention Center back in 2001 because he knew a lot about what was going on in, in uh, 